Hi everyone, this is Will Movest with Miracosta College. I'm currently the instructor for CSIT 172 Windows Networking Environment. This, uh, this video will cover uh, adding roles and features that we've covered in class. I'm going to go ahead now and switch over to my Windows Server 2012 R2. I have Server Manager open. It's typically in this bottom uh, left hand corner and I'm going to go ahead and add roles and features do a role based or feature based installation verify that this is indeed the server that I'm adding those features to and I go ahead and click next I'm going to add Active Directory Domain Services DHCP server DNS. I'm going to expand file and storage services, expand file and iSCSI services. I will also be adding DFS namespaces and DFS re replication. <clears throat> Additionally, I will also be adding print and document services. So I'm going to go ahead and click. I will get prompted for these features for uh, remote management for Active Directory. I'm going to click DHCP server and add features. I'm going to hit DNS, add features. I'm going to scroll down to DFS namespaces. I'm going to add features and select DFS replication. Also going to add print and document services and add the features. I'm going to click next. Additionally, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to user interfaces and infrastructure. I'm going to expand it and also add desktop experience. I'm going to hit next. These are installation props and they are telling you what you're actually installing. I'm going to hit next and next and next and next. This is the only role that we will be installing. We're going to hit next again and we're going to restart the destination server if automatically required, which it will and we're going to hit yes to this prompt and install. Now this can take anywhere from three to five minutes depending on your um, depending on your the hardware that you're using. 